Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to create event subscriptions in your Windows 7 computing environment which is quite helpful in an enterprise environment because you can use a target computer to gather event viewer events from numerous additional client computers without having to connect to those client computers looking for specific information. It makes us a lot more efficient and actually capable of reviewing the event logs from many more computers than we have been able to in the past. To do my demonstration today I've got a VMware player virtual lab. I've got a Windows Server 2008 R2 server that is acting as a domain controller and my domain is called contoso.com and I've got two Windows 7 virtual machines running in VMware Player. One of my Windows 7 virtual computers is called BK-CL1. This is going to be the collector computer or the target and this is where we will review our event ID events that are forwarded by BK-CL2 the source computer. So we will start by configuring the source computer and to do that I need administrative access to a command line interface. So I'm going to click on start, all programs, accessories, and then right click the command prompt and run as administrator. From the command line interface I will type in win rm space quick config. And what this is doing right now is essentially setting up a listener port so the collector can pull this computer for the events. So we need to press the Y key to make these changes and then hit enter. And the WinRM listener has been successfully put on the source computer. So I'm going to exit from the source computer and go to the collector computer and on the collector computer I'm going to click the start button go to all programs accessories right click command prompt left click run as administrator and from this command line interface I am going to type in WEC util QC and hit the enter key and now I need to specify yes essentially establishing a Windows event collector service. And now I'm going to type exit and close my command line interface. The next step is to set up the actual subscription on the collector computer. So I need to go into the event viewer. So I'm going to get there by clicking on start, going to all programs, going to administrative tools, and then event viewer and from within the event viewer I'm going to left click on subscriptions. To establish a subscription I'm going to right click on subscriptions and left click on create subscription. So I need to give my subscription a name so I'll just call it BK-CL2. In an enterprise environment you may want to give it a group name or a collection of computers name. I'm now going to look at the subscription type and source computers and we are going to leave the bullet on collector initiated. This essentially means that the collector is going to pull the source computer for current events. The alternative is source computer initiated where the source computer would send events or initiate the sending of events to a collector but this requires additional configuration and policy. So we're going to do the easy subscription today and choose collector initiated. We then need to select computers so I'll click on that and add domain computers and the computer that I want to pull is called bk dash CL2. That's the source computer that we have configured. And I'll click on OK and I'll click on OK. I now need to select which events to collect. 
So I'll click on select events and for demonstration reasons I am going to gather all events. Critical, error, warning, information, and verbose events. And I want all of the events from the system event log. So we'll click the drop down and we'll expand Windows logs and we'll check the system log. I'm not quite done yet. I need to click on OK and now I need to provide the appropriate credentials to query the source computer. So I'm going to click on the advanced button and I would like to use a specific user's credential and that will be the administrator. So I'll left click on the user and password button and now I need to provide the adequate password for the Contoso Administrator. And we'll click on OK. And we'll click on OK. And now we are done in our subscription properties. So I'll click on OK. You'll see that we have successfully created a collector initiated subscription. To actually watch it working, we are going to expand Windows Logs and we've got forwarded events and these events are now being forwarded by BK-CL2. You'll see computer BK-CL2. If we refresh, there are no current events. However, we are on BK-CL1 looking in the forwarded events folder and seeing events that are being generated from BK-CL2. And if you have multiple computers in the subscription, you would see events in this forwarded events folder from multiple computers. So this concludes my demonstration on how to configure event subscriptions in a Windows 7 computing environment. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.